Hello and welcome to this video on the parts of a circle. Now we have names for the various different regions and lines within a circle. Now firstly, if we were to connect the centre of the circle to the edge of the circle, and I'll, I'll tell you what the edge of the circle is called in a second, then that is known as the radius of the circle. So the radius of the circle is the line which connects the centre of the circle to the edge of the circle. Now, if we were to have a line from one end of the circle to the other that goes through that centre, that is known as the diameter of the circle. So the diameter is a line which connects the two opposite ends of a circle that goes through the centre of the circle. Now, I referred to the edge of the circle, but there's, actual, but there's an actual name for the edge of the circle. So this whole line, the whole perimeter of the circle the line that goes around it, that is known as the circumference of a circle. And therefore, a more technical definition of the radius is it's a line that connects the centre of the circle to, the to a point on the circumference of the circle. Now, if we were to connect a line between any two points of the circle, and you can see, now this is not called the radius because it doesn't connect the centre of the circle to the circumference. It connects just two points on the circumference. And that is known as a chord. So a chord is just a line that connects any two points on the circumference, any two points on the circumference of the circle. And the diameter, for example, is an example of a chord because a diameter does connect two points on the circumference of the circle. So the diameter is a special example of a chord. And then if we have some portion of the circumference of the circle, so let's just say we were just looking at this line here, this part of the circumference of the circle, then that is known as an arc of the circle. So an arc of the circle is just some portion of the circumference. Now we could create a region of the circle. And this region here is known as a sector. So you can think of a sector as just like a slice of a pie chart or a slice of a pizza. That is known as a, that is known as a sector. So it's the region between the circumference of the circle, between an arc of the circle, so remember this is an arc, and two radii of the circle. The plural of radius is radii. You spell it like this, by the way. That's the plural of radius. So we've got two radii, arc, and the region in the middle is a sector. Now if I draw another chord again, then if you have the region between a chord of the circle and the circumference of a circle, that is known as a segment. And the way I remember that one, you might have seen an orange segment before. If you open an orange or a tangerine, and you can see it's divided into segments, which kind of look like that shape. And that's how I remember that that is called a segment. Now there's one last thing. If I have a line which touches the circle at a single point, then that line is known as a tangent to the circle. Now there's one extra term that you need to know for IGCC, but you don't need to know for normal GCC. So if I was to have a line that cuts the circle, like this, then that is known as a secant. So secant is an, a line which crosses, is a line which cuts the circle. That's different from a chord, by the way, because the chord, because the chord stops at these two points on the circumference. We call it a line segment. A line segment is a finitely long line which stops at two points, whereas a secant can be infinitely long. So we've got the chord in here, but it extends further than that either way, and that is known as a secant. 
So those are all the terms you need. One final point to make is the difference between a major sector and a minor sector. So, this, we know this is called a sector, and this is known as a minor sector because it's less than half the circle. Now, this region here is also a sector. It's still a slice of like a pie chart, but we call it a major sector because it's more than half the circle. Similarly, we can have a major arc and a minor arc. So this is called a minor arc because it's less than half a circle. And then, and then obviously, this arc here is going to be called a major arc. And it's the same with segments. If I draw a segment, remember segment is the region between the circumference of the circle and the chord. That is known as a minor segment. And then this region here is also a segment. It's a region between a chord of the circle and the circumference, but it's called a major segment because it's more than half of the circle.